Hi, this is Tammy and I do math for coffee. In this video, I'd like to take a moment to talk about congruent versus equal because this is an important concept in geometry and it's confusing. We use the word congruent a lot. We use the word equal kind of like normal because it's a math class, but congruent is a word that's pretty much just used in geometry. They are almost the same, but there's some subtle differences. If two things are the same size, but are actually two different things, we say that they are congruent. Let's not think about this in math. Think about this in the real world. If you have two shirts that are the same size, they're going to be congruent, but they're two separate things. You might have a red shirt and you might have a blue shirt. They're two separate things, but they're the same size. So we say they're congruent. The reason this is a little bit weird, because we're used to doing this sort of thing in math. So in math, we can say something like this. 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Not congruent, but they actually equal. And that is because 10 over 5 is just another way to write a 2. They are actually the same thing. 10 over 5 is 2. It's not like having two different shirts. They are the same thing. The symbols for congruent is a little bit different. Let's go back to the shirts. A red shirt of a size medium compared to a blue shirt of size medium. We would say red shirt size M and blue shirt size M are not equal. They're two different shirts, but they are congruent. So the symbol we use for that starts out as an equal sign but it has this little squiggly on the top. It's kind of like a sideways S. This is the congruent symbol. They're two separate things, but they are the same size. We were just talking about angles in the last lesson, so I am going to talk about congruent angles right now. We're going to be talking about congruent things for the rest of the class, but let's draw some angles. I've got angle H sitting over here. I'm going to keep them separate so I only need one letter. So there's angle H. And I'm going to tell you the size of angle H is 50 degrees. We're going to go with that. We're not measuring it. And this angle clearly looks to be a different size, but I'm not drawing anything to scale. Get used to it. That's how we roll in geometry. When you teach it, you'll understand. I'm going to say that's 50 degrees too. Okay, so here's what we know. The measure of angle H equals 50 degrees. The measure of angle K also equals 50 degrees. Since these two measures are equal, we can write this. The measure of angle H equals the measure of angle K. I'm not talking about the two separate angles. I'm talking about their size. 50, 50. 50 degrees is 50 degrees. And they both equal 50 degrees. Because this is true, I can now say, using their names, that angle H is congruent to angle K. Oh heck yeah, I know that's super subtle. And you'll get used to it, I promise. So to put it into words, measures are equal, angles by name are congruent. Gosh, I hope that helps, but I expect that you have questions, so leave them down in the comments. Thanks for sticking with this video, and if you are ready for the next lesson, click into it right now.